In this video, we will understand thrust and pressure. Consider a wooden block. Place another wooden object, which is in specific shape, like this. We can see that this wooden object has different surface areas at the top and the bottom. The bottom surface area is greater than the surface area of the top. Now, apply some external force on the top of the wooden block. This force will act perpendicular to the top of the wooden block. This perpendicular force will distribute equally on each point on the surface of the bottom of the wooden block. If we change the position of the wooden block and apply the same force, then the force will act in the same way as the last one, say perpendicular to the surface. This perpendicular force acting on the surface is called thrust. Now, take this scenario. Assume that we decrease the surface area of the bottom of the wooden block. As the area decreases, the perpendicular force gets concentrated on small area with same magnitude. So the effect of force on each point of surface area is more than the last one. This means that force of same magnitude is distributed in a small area. Now reverse the scenario. Increase the size of the bottom of the wooden block and consider that the same force is acting perpendicular at the top of the wooden block. As the size of the bottom increases, the force is distributed equally on each point of the surface area of the bottom. Because the same force is acting on a larger area, the effect of force on each point is less. Now, this effect is known as pressure. As the perpendicular force is known as thrust, we can define pressure as the ratio of thrust per unit area acting on the surface. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel.